Pluto is a far-off and covert, more honest planet that was once a piece of our close-by planetary framework. However, progressing, upsetting declarations by leading astrophysicists Neil Douglas Tyson and Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight. They suggested that this crisp world is on a potential impact course with Neptune. But how could this truly work? Also, what may be the aftereffects of such a tremendous occasion? Are we seeing a stupefying, immense flightiness? Or is there another thing to this approaching, ceaseless misfortune? Join us as we look at the possible outcomes of a Pluto-Neptune influence. Pluto, a past planet that was renamed as a diminutive planet, remains a subject of interest and study in the immense universe, as shown by late theories by leading subject matter experts. Pluto's circle is hazardously near Neptune's. Astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the alarm about a potential dangerous mishap between these two planets, which could imply a monstrous liability to Earth. Yet, how is such an event even conceivable? Pluto's journey around the Sun is not at all like that of any other planet in our solar system. It requires a stunning 248 years to complete a single orbit. Since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even completed one full revolution. However, the interest doesn't stop there. Pluto's circle is marked by its especially elliptical shape, wandering generally from the nearly round circles of the major planets. What makes Pluto's circle much more astounding is its inclination, which is 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The way Pluto follows its path is entirely more sporadic compared to other planets. This inclination and capriciousness add layers of intricacy to its orbital plan. Possibly, quite possibly, one of the most fascinating pieces of Pluto's circle is its crossing point with Neptune's. For around 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually moves closer to the Sun than Neptune, resisting what we could anticipate from their positions in the planetary system. This prompts the natural question, why hasn't Pluto slammed into Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational impacts of different planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began not long after its discovery. Initially, astronomers attempted to figure out its unique path. Unlike other planets, whose orbits lie relatively close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's orbit stands out with its steep inclination and unpredictable shape. The mystery grew with the realization that Pluto's orbit does indeed cross Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit despite these complexities, is evidence of the intricacies of celestial mechanics. The three-body problem in space involves determining how three objects in space, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and affect each other with their gravity. It's like trying to predict where they will go based on where they started and how they pull on each other. For Pluto's case, this issue shows how its orbit, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's gravity all work together in a complicated manner. The terms non-simultaneous libration, orbital precession, and VZK wobbling are critical to this riddle, as explained by astrophysicists. What keeps all planets in their orbits is non-simultaneous libration. Concerning Pluto and Neptune, this term basically means that when Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is situated at least 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial division is critical in keeping their orbits from meeting. Orbital precession, on the other hand, refers to the upward movement of a body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it is positioned far above their orbital plane, adding an extra layer of security from potential collisions. Another key factor in this situation is the VZK wobbling, named after three scientists, Zell and Kai, who studied how objects move in space. It involves how three space objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on each other with their gravity. This pulling affects how they move. For Pluto's case, the VZK wobbling helps us understand why its orbit near the Sun is so unusual. Despite Pluto's orbit seeming tumultuous, this wobbling helps keep it moving smoothly over stretched periods. The VZK wobbling shows that, despite things in space seeming wild and erratic, patterns and rules maintain some control. These forces help keep Pluto's orbit stable ensuring that it doesn't impact with Neptune or drift off course. This three-body problem is vital in understanding how these orbits change because of the way space objects pull on each other. Studying this helps us learn more about Pluto, our nearby planetary system, and indeed, 
even distant worlds and their stars. Mathematical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that, despite the stabilizing properties, Pluto's orbit is actually whimsical, with minor deviations in initial conditions leading to immense differences over hundreds of years. However, these eccentricities of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over incredibly long time scales. Checking the disturbances from later automated assessments has helped us understand how the giant planets, like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn, impact Pluto's orbit around the Sun. Neptune has a special relationship with Pluto, where for every two orbits Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune completes three. This relationship helps keep Pluto's orbit stable. However, Neptune isn't alone at work. Jupiter's gravity also plays a massive role in stabilizing Pluto's orbit. Saturn, moreover, contributes. These studies show that Jupiter's enormous gravity is strong enough to ensure Pluto remains on a steady path for a long time, possibly even for millions of years. So, perhaps Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are collaborating to ensure Pluto continues to move securely through space without running into trouble. These mechanisms are critical to keeping everything in place and functioning in space. Without these instruments, the solar system as we know it would be a much more chaotic place. Bodies like Pluto could collide with others or be catapulted from their stable orbits, triggering a chain reaction with other celestial bodies. For Pluto, particularly with discussions about it possibly crashing into Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is significant. This gives a clearer picture of the dynamic nature of the nearby planetary system. The case of Pluto shows how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can reach a state of equilibrium through the complex interaction of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also highlights the importance of constant observation and investigation of these phenomena to better understand our position in the universe. Exploring the depths of space frequently forces us to confront the strange nature of celestial bodies. Furthermore, Pluto's orbit is an ideal example of this anomaly. The concept of orbital disorder, which refers to the delicate dependence of a celestial body's orbit on its initial conditions, is clearly demonstrated. For Pluto's case, this means that even slight changes in the dwarf planet's position or speed can drastically alter its long-term orbit. Using automated simulations has been incredibly helpful for scientists in figuring out how Pluto moves in space. These simulations use complex math to model how Pluto and other space objects, like Neptune, pull on each other. By tweaking small details in the simulations, space researchers can see how even tiny changes can make a huge difference in where Pluto ends up. Showed something interesting about Pluto's orbit. Despite having features like asynchronous libration and orbital precession to keep it stable, its orbit can still be inconsistent and unusual. If you start with just a small difference in where Pluto is or how fast it's moving, its orbit could end up looking completely different after just a few years. Yet despite this chaos, Pluto's orbit remains stable over vast timescales, like billions of years. This means that Pluto's journey around the Sun has a kind of order to it, even though it appears wild at first. Predicting celestial movements, especially when they involve irregular orbits like Pluto's, is a massive challenge. The inherent unpredictability of these systems means that long-term forecasts are often filled with uncertainties. While numerical models provide excellent tools for understanding and predicting the future movements of celestial bodies, they also highlight the limits of our predictive abilities. These models heavily depend on the accuracy of initial conditions, and any small mistake or distortion can lead to vastly different outcomes, making precise predictions a daunting task. Other than the chaotic nature of planetary orbits, Pluto reminds us of the ever-changing and dynamic nature of the universe. While we've made huge strides in understanding space, Pluto's case reminds us of how much our knowledge of the universe still remains limited. Grasping the gravitational effects of the giant planets on Pluto's orbit provides valuable insights into the broader dynamics of the solar system. It shows how the presence and position of each planet can significantly affect the stability and course of other bodies within the system. So, why are leading astrophysicists recently raising concerns about a potential collision between Pluto and Neptune? Despite all these complex forces trying to prevent such an event from happening, Neil deGrasse Tyson, a prominent astrophysicist and a major figure in advancing cosmology, offers a unique perspective on the mysteries of our solar system, especially the intriguing case of Pluto. 
Tyson, known for his role in renaming Pluto from a planet to a dwarf planet, offers insightful analysis on the evolving nature of celestial mechanics and the public's interest in the neglected corners of space. Tyson's position on Pluto's renaming is based on the ever-expanding knowledge of our solar system. He sees the renaming not as a diminishment, but as a necessary adjustment to our growing understanding of the various bodies orbiting our sun Tyson's approach to celestial mechanics is one of continuous learning and change. He sees the complexities of orbits like Pluto's as a sign of how much there is still to discover in space. The interest in these questions keeps the study of space so exciting. However, despite Tyson's optimism, his thoughts on Pluto's potential collision with Neptune paint a different picture. His concerns about the fate of Pluto's orbit suggest that we may still have some mysteries to uncover. Will Pluto crash into Neptune? Or is this just another moment of confusion in the ever-changing universe of space? Only time and further investigation will tell. For now, we are left with a deeper curiosity about how little we still know about our own solar system. We continue to study these celestial phenomena with the goal of uncovering more of the secrets that lie beyond. The possibility of a Pluto-Neptune collision raises just another question about the mysterious and captivating universe in which we exist. The potential for a mishap between Pluto and Neptune raises intriguing issues about the dynamics of the solar system, as it challenges our traditional understanding of planetary stability. The idea that two celestial bodies with such vastly different attributes could collide is both unsettling and fascinating, especially considering the current relative strength of their orbits. Given that Pluto is situated in the outer reaches of the solar system, far from the major planets, and Neptune is itself a gas giant with a strong gravitational field, the implications of such a collision would be enormous for how we understand gravitational interactions and the evolution of the solar system. To understand the dynamics of a potential impact, one must first consider the structure and properties of the two planets. Pluto, despite being a dwarf planet, contains a variety of elements and compounds believed to exist in a frozen state due to the extreme cold of the outer solar system. Its surface is covered in nitrogen ice, and it has an atmosphere composed mainly of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. In contrast, Neptune, a giant gas planet, is composed mostly of hydrogen, helium, and other lighter elements, with a deep, dense atmosphere. A collision between such disparate bodies would dramatically affect their structure and behavior, potentially creating an event that would be noticeable across vast cosmic distances. What makes this hypothetical collision particularly intriguing is the impact of other planets and bodies in the solar system. While Neptune's gravity plays a dominant role in keeping Pluto's orbit stable, it is not the only factor at play. The presence of Jupiter, the massive planet in the solar system, is another crucial factor. Jupiter's enormous mass, strong gravitational field, and gravitational influence provide a stabilizing effect on Pluto's orbit, preventing it from wandering too far into Neptune's territory. Moreover, Saturn's gravitational influence further complicates the dynamics of the outer solar system, making it unlikely that a devastating event will occur between Pluto and Neptune. However, despite the apparent dangers, Ongoing research has also shown that the relationship between Pluto and Neptune is not as simple as a clear collision course. The gravitational resonance between the two planets, where for every two orbits Pluto completes around the Sun, Neptune completes three, creates a kind of celestial lock that prevents them from coming into direct contact. This resonance is a key reason why Pluto and Neptune's orbits, while intersecting in the vast expanse of space, have never resulted in a crash.